the committee for the opportunity to talk here. Uh, uh, the problem consists of a combustion front moving through a porous media with two parallel layers. And uh, we have some, re some theoretical results about this model, like traveling wave solution and Cauchy problem. Results, Cauchy problem, where in, for Cauchy problem, let me see here, where for Cauchy problem we consider uh, two cases, uh, a simple case uh, putting on the li a linear problem, some linear problem. And uh, the other case, uh, considering the full, the full system we consider, consider here. Let me talk some words about the model. Here, two parallel layers, uh, the porous media, two parallel layers. It was an initially available concentration of solid fuel, such as coke. The unknown variables we consider, depending on XT, one-dimensional, okay, is the temperature, the fuel concentration, the oxygen mass fraction in the gas phase, phase velocity, and pressure. In each phase, the model is similar to the presented by Professor Aparecido de Souza. The model is obtained from balance equations. From, uh, this is the equations is considered in each layer. The I, the index I, is one or two, layer one or lay, layer two, okay? The difference here from the model presented before is that we have here uh, a term that uh, represents the change of heat from one layer to the other. This term represents the change of heat from one layer to the other. But we don't consider change of heat to the surrounding. Okay? But we consider here how this term here represents the reaction. Okay? The reaction. The, this Function R i uh, is so like the Arrhenius law given here, okay? And we have balance mass as the usual, uh, oxygen mass, balance total mass, and Darcy law. Putting this system in dimensionless form, we have a similar system. Okay, with a lot of constants. Uh, oh. I, I, I he represents one or, uh, one or two, or two okay. layer. Okay. Okay. Uh, looking at this five equation, the first two equation are coupled with the other equations only by this term here. The, only by this term here, the, the oxygen fraction and the pressure. So to simplify the model, considering only temperature and the fuel concentration, we, we consider this term as an average value. So we decouple these two equations. 
uh, four equations, because y is one and two, we decouple this equation from the other equation. And then we consider these first two equations only. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we have the system of constants, depending on the depending on the physical properties. Uh, here is the model we are consider. The model including only temperature. Now we denote the temperature by U and field concentration now denoted by Y in each la layer, one and two. So we have this the simplest model here. And a lot of constants. And the, the reaction, the part of the reaction is this, this function, U is the temperature, okay? So what we would like to do is to obtain some, some uh, theoretical results about this model. We start with considering, uh, considering uh, traveling waves. Traveling waves, uh, as usual, you consider a, a, a solution depending only this parameter here. Putting on in the PD system, we obtain this of this system where we have to, to put one more variable, artificial uh, variable, because when we put this function in the PD system, we have to integrate one time and appear this, we need to put one more variable. So we have to study the combustion wave, we have to to calculate the orbits of the system, orbits from, from, a, from a burned state, leaving the burned state and entering the, the unburned state. This, the unburned, the, 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 here the, temp, the temperature is scaled such that uh, zero is the temperature of the porous medium. And uh, one correspond about uh, four, uh, 415 Kelvin. Okay. The first result, uh, a, pa a param a, a, an important parameter in this analysis is the this parameter. This parameter here, what is this? Uh, important. Let me see. Uh, PV. Okay. It, this parameter here, this parameter uh, uh, is responsible for the change of of heat from one layer to the other. If this parameter is zero, is zero, we don't have change of heat from one layer to the other. So when we don't have uh, change of heat from one layer to the other, uh, we have a combustion wave in each layer uh, separated. Combustion wave in it represented here for this picture, one layer and the, the other layer. This this is the temperature profile for equality, for equality space times, okay? Uh, when, the, when the heat transfer from one layer to the other is large, is large, the temperature uh, become as the same in both layers so we have a, com uh, 
we have a traveling wave in all the, in both layers, traveling wave. So we have a picture like this. When the, this coefficient is, is small, really we don't have a traveling wave. But, but if we consider, uh, if we restrict the system of parameter such that the velocity in both layers are the same, we can prove also traveling waves. Okay. The, the, the same. We have another picture here. This picture, in this picture, shows us that uh, for different for different injection temperature, we have indicate that we have only only one combustion temperature. Analytical, we can prove this, but this indicates, for, for each layer, it's possible to prove this analytically. But considering the whole system, we can prove this result, okay? Now, now we show you, we will show you the, uh, results about the Cauchy problem of that model. We put the system in this form, okay, in this form, and we would like to know if this, this Cauchy problem has or not a solution, okay? Uh, the the main, main thing we have to do is, the, the first thing we should, we do was considering this function y, this function y is the combustion. We consider the fuel concentration as a non-function. If we consider the fuel concentration as a non-function, we forgot this second equation and we consider only this equation. So the PDE operator is linear. Okay, the nonlinearity is only this term. In this, if we cons in this case, we can apply a method called iterative method of lower and upper solution, and obtain a unique solution for the problem. Okay, if the fuel concentration are non-function defined here further continuous and bounded, then the Cauchy, pro Cauchy problem has a unique global solution in the classical way, okay? Uh, uh, if the fuel concentration are unknown function, we can't apply that method before, the iteration monotone method of, of uh, lower and upper solution. Because we can't apply that method because, uh, because uh, in it iteration, the coefficients of the, of the PDE operator it's changing. In each iteration, the, this coefficient change. So we can't apply the method of upper and lower solution. So we have to change the method considering here for the, for the case, we consider uh, Fundamentals, we consider the method using fundamental solution of the PDs, of the PD operator. We use fundamental solution. Uh, first of all, uh, 
consider a linear Cauchy problem associated to the origin, original problem. Define the operator like this, okay? Get a pair of function in this space, in this space, get a pair of function and integrate this equation, considering, considering this function given, integrate this equation and put this equation here in the first equation, okay? So we have here a linear problem. We have here a linear problem. And Using, so we can, uh, we have a solution uh, as the integral formula here using the fundamental solution of the homogeneous uh, linear operator, PD operator, okay? So we have, in this case. So the, the result we have for local solution is that if t, if t is sufficiently small and the functions, the initial, initial functions are, initial data are positive, lip sheet and bounded, then the original Cauchy problem has a solution in this form here, classical solution, okay? Uh, the, the solution is obtained from this uh, it, iterative uh, method, from this iterated method. And we have to prove that this iterated method converges to, converge to a pair of function. And using the integral representation, we prove that this function is a solution of the problem, okay? For global solution, global solution time, okay, we need to control the solution when x tends to infinity. So we consider the space of solution in considering initial, considering introducing this L, in LP, P uh, for some P in this interval. Okay. So we have the following result. Let the initial data, non-negative Lipschitz and bounded function belong to some LP, okay? And the concentration is pseudo is non-negative with epsilon and bounded also. Then the original Cauchy problem has a solution in X2, okay? To prove that, uh, let to start the maximal time for resistance of local solution. That is for all t less than the, this maximal time. There exists a solution for every t belong to this interval. So we can extend this solution uh, beyond t star, okay? Don't start. So we start in the, to the infinity. So we have the global solution. Unfortunately, this method uh, don't give us the unicity, only the existence of solution. Some comments? Okay, we neglect uh, loss heat to the surrounding, uniqueness of the combustion temperature we don't have for the Cauchy problem. Even that, I think that the uniqueness exists, the, the, the uniqueness is true. Uh, other problem for the, for the global solution in time, we consider the initial data as in LP, so we, does not include that such uh, initial data for a human problem, okay? Uh, here we have some reference to the problem. Thank you.
questions?